Hey lovelies, we are back with yet another save file. You all know how much I love save files. I love to go through them. I love to play in them. And I have heard of this save file. It's the Simlissy Save 2.0. Simlissy is a very well-known, very good builder in the Sims community. And I have downloaded some of their builds before and they've always been just so fantastic, so beautiful. And apparently they have their own save file. So here it is on the website and you can see some pictures of what you can expect to find in this file. It says the second version of my save file is finally available for download. Mostly I added new builds to this version, but there are a few new Sims too. I will have more updates to come when I complete more of the lots. So I have already downloaded this save file and I have put it into my game. So I am ready to go and tour through it. So here is the Sim Lissy save file. It was last on my very long list of saves. And here is what you'll see when you download it. It'll look like this. And as always, I always start in Willow Creek to look around. But before we continue any further, let me put an emphasis on this. I did not make this save file. I downloaded this save file from Simlissy's website, which I will provide a link down below if you are interested in getting the same save file. It's just absolutely amazing. I'd also like to mention that I have pulled my entire mods folder, CC and everything out of the game because I wanted to see this save file exactly in the same light that everybody else is going to see it. No mods, no nothing, just exactly as it was intended to be played. So normally I start right here at this house and I kind of work my way around as I tour through. I have actually not toured through the save file at all, so I really don't know what any of this looks like. So we're gonna take a peek through this together. So this is the Spencer Kim Lewis house. It looks like the Sims have been made over, which I really, really like. And I need to see their house. Oh my, okay, so here is the house. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so you come in here through the entryway and here's a little office here. I like that. In the bathroom, it's got all kinds of little clutter right here and here. Oh, is that a butler? Oh my gosh, yes, they have a butler. This family is rich. Oh my gosh. They have the kitchen here. I like the kitchen. I like the colors that were used a lot. The table's already set. A little kind of like a sunroom here. I like that they got their plants right here. Here is the living room. They got their TV on the wall. Here is a bedroom. Oh, and there's little, little pictures. Oh, it's Olivia and her grandfather on here. So this must be the grandpa's bedroom. He's got little pictures of the family throughout. Oh my gosh, I love that. The backyard has the pool, a swing set and everything. So down here looks like the butler's quarters. They have the butler's assigned to bed here. Oh, I like this a lot. Alice has her own little painting corner here because she does have the painting extraordinaire aspiration. I love that. And there's more pictures. Here is Olivia's bedroom. She's got her own little pictures. And this must be the grandmother's bedroom here. The welcome wagon just showed up. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna just like ignore that. But yeah, this is the house for them. They even have a little sit out spot right here. This is so well done. Oh, and if you go up one more story. Oh my gosh, guys, guys. There's an attic. They have an attic and it's full of attic-y things. <laughs> like the old Christmas tree, the old decoration boxes. Oh, and of course, yes, of course she likes painting. Yes, she does. Oh, I love this idea. So you can like throw your stuff up here when you're done with them and have it like a storage area. That is cool. I really like that a lot. And some of them are in 
clubs. What? Dennis is in a club called Poker Night. And they all meet up here over here at Oasis Springs. It's all the elderly people, so they meet up for poker night like once a week. I love that. They actually took a family that I kind of felt was really boring and made them very interesting just by simply giving them makeovers, giving them a new house, giving them a little bit more personality, which was really needed. And so we're back on the map screen. We have the Porter family here. Look at this massive house. Oh my gosh. It's huge. Umbridge Manor is here. It's a restaurant, it looks like. A place to rent right here. Oof, 3,300 bed day. It looks like it's haunted. That's cool. And the goth family is still here. The goth family is one of my favorite households. So I have to go in here and I have to take a look. The goth family is such an iconic family. And here's a little foyer here. And they also have a little pictures as well. Oh, I love it. Oh, their living room suits them so much better than the old one. I like this a lot. More pictures throughout. They have the table set here. They have a gorgeous kitchen. Oh my gosh. And Bella is back here swimming. Oh, a little fountain going into the water. They also have a downstairs area with the litter boxes here, their laundry area, and oh my, what is going on here? They got piles of money down here. Oh my. Upstairs, Alexander actually has a better, more proper room. I always hated how it felt like they shoved him up in the attic on the original house. It felt so weird. He's got void critters here. Each bedroom has a closet, which makes a lot of sense. This is Cassandra's room. It very much fits her style. They have a second little living room area here. And this is the full house from the outside. This is so nice because it really didn't need that third story where they had just shoved Alex into. And this makes a lot more sense and it still looks like the goth house, but updated, updated. And it's so pretty. This house, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. I cannot wait to play in this save file. This is my first time touring it, like I said, so I haven't actually played in the save file. And all of these houses are full of Sims. There's the BFF household here. And there is still one free lot here for people to go to. And it looks like they kept the community lots as they were, but they have been updated. So let's go to the blue velvet and see what that looks like. Oh my, this is the blue velvet. This is nice. It like, it kept all of the same layout and everything, but has been completely updated. This makes more sense. They put the bathrooms back here and moved the bar over here, which makes way more sense than how it was. And they added the game rooms upstairs. I love that. Very, very nice. So here is Oasis Springs. Oh my gosh. That is a huge house. Johnny Zest is still over here as well with a makeover. Llama Lanes, is that a bowling alley? Let me go look. They got the arcade area here. I always like putting bowling alleys all throughout my world because it's just a fun little activity for my Sims to do, like family bowling night. So New Crest is done with all the residential portion of it and they've left a ton of spaces so you can kind of put in your own community lot. I like that. There is a lot of houses here. Oh my gosh. Let's go into this house. It looks adorable. Look at this house. It's so cute. I like the colors that they used a lot. Their cute little kitchen. Outdoors. They got a little pool here for the kids. I love that. They have a laundry here. So it's starting to look like every single house is going to have a laundry, which is so perfect for me because I do put laundry in every single one of my families. It's a pack that I really enjoy and I really like, but that might just be because I like having chores for my Sims to do. This is adorable. I really like this house a lot. So gorgeous. So some of the Sims are in clubs. 
Courtney here is in a Darling Bows Club where they play with toys and play Don't Wake the Llama. How cute! Holy crap. Okay, I just got to this map screen and this one immediately stands out to me. That's a park? It looks like it's a movie theater. It's like a bunch of different types of shops in one. I gotta check this out. Oh my gosh, look at this place! They have movie theaters here, a bowling alley here, an arcade here, oh my gosh. A cafe over here with little gnome here, how adorable is that? A toy area, a toy store, and a music store. It's like a little mall. They have a bookstore over here. Wow, this is so well thought out. Yeah, so this is like a little mall area. So you can come here and you have access to all kinds of shops. Oh, I love that. That is very, very creative. And here is Windenburg. Oh my gosh. Windenburg is one of the biggest maps in the game. And I can't even fathom how long it must have taken the creator to do just this map alone. Just this world. I mean... You can tell a lot of work went into this save. So much work, so much attention. I mean, it's just amazing. We have a countryside cafe here. Ooh, let's let's go into this family. They look amazing. So here is the house in the pouring rain. But here's the house. We got a bathroom right here, which is gorgeous looking. Oh my gosh, look at this kitchen. This kitchen and dining area. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. A little sunroom. Well, I mean, it would be a sunroom, but it's raining. Their living room. I love it. Outdoor. They have their little play area. Look at this. You can go down the slide and go down into the sandbox. I love it. And here's the laundry area. So yeah, it does look like laundries in every house. And here's all of the bedrooms upstairs. Oh my gosh, look at this bedroom. That is gorgeous. There's so much personality to each room, you can immediately see what room belongs to which Sam. I like that a lot. San Mishuno is here. Now it looks like things have been updated here as well. We'll just take a quick peek at the Applegate Park. So they got the little play area for the kids, the ponds, a music area, but they have like a whole catering area here as well. I like this a lot. Yeah, you could use this for so many different story purposes. And a little painting area here too. Yeah, I like this. So I love playing with vampires. So, you know, I had to check this out. The Vatours are still here and have been updated. Apparently the Cullen family is here. Wonder if that's taking inspiration from Twilight. And Vlad is over here and it looks like he has been updated as well. Look at him. Wow. Brittleton Bay, one of my favorite worlds. And look at this huge, huge house. Oh my gosh, this house is huge. The Thompson family lives there. And they made this area here a park. We still have the vet clinics over here, but updated. Del Sol Valley has been updated as well. They have a Plum Bob Motel. That is adorable. They have a Starbucks and grocery store. I like that a lot. The Bailey Moons still live here. And Judith Ward still lives here too. But oh my gosh, you can't really see her too well. But she looks massively better. Oh my gosh, does she look better. Strangerville has been redone. But I'm not going to delve too much into this in case anybody that is watching has not played the storyline of Strangerville. So we're just gonna peek at the map from here and so you can see some of the houses here. Sulani has been updated as well. Oh my gosh, I love Sulani. When this pack first came out, I played in this world for like ever. I just loved it so much. This world is very, very relaxing to me. It's having all the water nearby. And the creator put a resort and spa here. Oh my gosh, I love it. Everybody's been updated. And one thing I like is there are still empty lots throughout the save. So you can still go in and build your own house. So you don't have to play as any of these Sims already in. You can make your own Sim, put them in 
in and just have a beautiful, beautiful save to play. Looks like Bridgechester has been updated as well. Oh, the library from the map looks gorgeous. But yeah, and that is this save file. It is absolutely amazing. I'm so impressed by it. I absolutely cannot wait to sit down later today and play through this save file myself. It looks so well thought out, so well done. The hours that must have been put into this is just absolutely insane. But the download link will be posted down below so you can go get the Sim Lacey save file. It is amazing. I think you're gonna like it a lot. But let me know down below, do you have a favorite save file? I would love to check them out. So let me know down below any save files that you like that you're interested in and let me know what you think of this one. But that is it for this video and I hope all of you have a lovely lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!